the knowing mind that arises without intention. When we are mindful, we know when the mind slips away. When we are mindful, we have morality, samadhi and wisdom. We begin to see the truth that even a stable mind is impermanent. One moment it slips to the eye, then to the ear, nose, tongue, body and mind. Often when it slips to the mind, it's when we try to practice Dhamma. For a non-practitioner, the mind slips to thinking. For practitioners, the mind slips to the object of meditation and remains there fixedly. So don't actively try to maintain a knowing mind. We practice mindfulness until the mind becomes stable and with the right samadhi, the knowing mind will arise. The knowing mind is wholesome. It is mindful without having the intention to be so. It is stable and ready to develop wisdom, to be aware of any phenomena that arise, maintain and fall away. This is a good quality mind. A good quality knowing mind is one that arises without intention. The knowing mind that needs to be induced to arise is weak in strength. Is it good? It is good, but it's too weak for wisdom development. According to the Abhitama, the knowing mind that I'm describing is in fact Maha Kusala Jitta Yana Sampayutta Asankari Gang, or moral consciousness associated with knowledge. This means it is capable of developing wisdom. Asankari Gang means unprompted or without intention. If we intentionally try to make this type of consciousness arise, it won't be of the best kind. When we see the mind that slips and is then aware, eventually we will see that the knowing mind is also impermanent. It also slips. It also arises and falls away. The mind that is lost through the eye is also impermanent. Once we are aware that the mind is lost through the eye, the lost mind falls away and the knowing mind arises in its place. Then the mind is lost through the ear to hear a sound. Once we are aware that the mind is lost through the ear, the lost mind falls away and the knowing mind arises in its place. It is the same at all the six doors. You see the mind alternately arising and falling away at each of them. One moment the mind is lost at one of the six sense doors and the next moment is the knower. This is where wisdom will arise. We will see that the knowing mind is impermanent and the lost mind of whatever kind is also impermanent. Keep knowing, keep watching and the three characteristics of existence of the mind will be revealed. Wisdom will arise. If we can practice this way, our Dhamma practice will be very brief. There's not much else. There's no further investigation required. The mind slips, be aware. The mind slips, be aware. We will gain morality, samadhi and wisdom. And if we are very proficient at this, in the end, we will be liberated and enlightened. Remember that nobody can make the mind reach enlightenment. The more we strive, the further we stray from the enlightenment. Our duty is to be mindful of phenomena with a stable and equanimous mind. Once morality, samadhi and wisdom are perfected, enlightenment will arise on its own. We cannot command enlightenment to arise just as we cannot control morality, samadhi, and wisdom. Venerable Lung Po Pramod Pamo Cho, Suan Santitam Temple, 12 December 2021